Hey everybody, welcome back to art class. For today's art lesson, you are going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Make sure that you ask an adult at home about what pair of scissors are going to be best for you to use before you use them. All right, we are gonna be making a paper snowflake together. Now, I've got a regular piece of computer paper here. You wanna make sure that the paper you're using is nice and thin. If you use something like construction paper, a lot of times that can be too thick and hard to work with. It might not turn out as nice or it might be kind of frustrating to use. So I would stick with a thin piece of computer paper. If you don't have this, even a piece of notebook paper or lines paper will work just fine. The first thing we need to do together is turn this rectangle piece of paper into a square piece of paper. What I'm gonna do is turn my paper the long way side to side like this, and then I'm gonna take the top left corner right here, and I'm gonna fold it down so that it touches the bottom of my paper. I'm gonna make sure it's all lined up, and then I'm going to push it down. Now we can see there's kind of a line right here for the edge of our paper, and then we've got a long rectangle at the end. What you're going to do is take your scissors and just cut right on this line to cut off that rectangle on the end there. If you open it back up, you'll see that we have a square. If you need more time to cut your square, you can go ahead and pause the video and when you're ready to move on, you can start it again. After you've got your square, we're going to fold it back how we had it. I'm going to twist it now, my triangle, so that the longest side is on the bottom. I'm going to take the right side of my triangle and fold it over to the left side. And I'm going to make sure I push down really hard on the crease. Now just like last time, I'm going to twist it so that that longest side is on the bottom. I'm going to fold the right side over to the left side again. We're getting to many layers of paper, so you might have to push harder to crease it down. One last time, I'm going to twist it so that this longest side is on the bottom. Now this fold is a little bit trickier. What we need to do is take the bottom edge of our triangle and fold it up to this left edge. So I'm going to take it like this. Fold it up to the top and press it down. So it's kind of a weird triangle shape now. If you flip it over, you'll see that there's a triangle up top and then an, a straight line of our paper right here. What we're gonna do is take our scissors and just snip right on that line to cut that little extra triangle off. It'll probably fall off in a lot of pieces like that. And then we're ready to start making our snowflake. So what you want to do is have the long edges on the sides in this short side of your triangle at the top. Now grab your pencil and what you can do is draw some shapes around your paper. It will work best for you if you, let's see if I can zoom in here. Your shapes need to touch the edge of the paper. So if I wanted to do some circles, I'm just going to do half of a circle, making sure that it touches the edge. If you do a circle in the middle like this, it's very tricky to cut out. So I wouldn't do anything, a full shape in the middle. I would always do half of a shape on the side. So maybe I want to do half of a square, half of a triangle, another circle maybe at the bottom. You also can do some shapes at the top, so maybe I'll do half of a triangle up top. Take some time to draw those shapes on your snowflake. If you need to pause the video, you can do that and then start it back up when you're ready. All right, once you have your shapes drawn, you can grab your uh, folded paper just like this. Don't unfold it at all. You're gonna take your scissors and you're going to cut on those pencil lines that you drew. It might be kind of tricky to cut through lots of layers of paper, so you can ask an adult for help. You're gonna cut on all those lines. Be sure not to cut all the way across 
the snowflake like don't make one big cut that goes all the way across like this because then you'll cut off the top of your snowflake it's okay if the paper kind of moves while you're cutting it's hard to cut a lot of layers of paper at the same time They also don't have to be perfect. Your cuts don't have to be perfectly straight. They can be kind of jaggedy, if you will. Alrighty. Now, once you've cut out all of those shapes from your paper, you can unfold it and watch the magic happen. Once you unfold your paper, paper, you will have a paper snowflake. Once you're all done, you could maybe hang it up, you could tape it to a window or a wall, maybe hang it on the fridge as a fun little winter project. Make sure that you take a picture of your snowflake and upload it to Seesaw so that I can see. And if you want, you can make as many as you want if you had fun. All right, friends. Don't forget to upload that picture and I will see you next time.